Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. If it was me, that bitch would be walking around bare flat. Hey, no, no, no. I'm glad we're talking about podcasts. When it comes to podcasts, right, I, I find that you got people like Bitcoin, Rodney. You got people like uh, Caesar Pena. You got people like uh, Him 500. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> um. What do y'all think about podcast payola? What do y'all think about having guests on that, like, we know are full of shit, but we don't ask them the questions that we really want to ask them because they paid us to be there? Well, let me go ahead first. I feel like this. You can have anybody on take the money if you want to. But you have a responsibility to yourself and your own platform to question anything that comes out of anybody's mouth on your platform. Because at the end, at the end of the day, whatever said on your platform, you have a responsibility for or some responsibility for. So before somebody gets on your platform and says some bullshit, just because they paid you, hey, it's a way to question something and still get the same answer by asking a question in one way than another. And get the same answer. Police do what the people all got them tell. All you gotta do is use your brain. Sure, they paid you not to ask them this question. Okay, I can ask you that question a different type of way. They do it on the SATs all the time. But if your main goal is to get paid and not give a fuck about what you put out, you can take your money. Your platform might be tarnished and you might be seen a certain way, but that may be what you're looking for, too. Yeah. But if you have any inkling of integrity to yourself, your platform, your listeners, question everything that's said on your platform from your guests by your host. Question it. Why not? The question could lead to even better content than just the bullshit that's being spewed. The answer, is, the, the, the answer is going to open up more doors than just listening to some bullshit. A lot of scammers come on here and say some shit. People are like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Ask them how many times they've tried their own method and how many times did it take them to try that before it worked. Ask them, do they have any people that are saying it don't work? Ask them about the negative things. All I hear is the positive things about what you're saying, but w w what's the other side of it? Somebody tell you there is no other side up is instantly something wrong. Because it's something fucked up or so it's a bad side to everything in life. That's why they say you got to take the good with the bad. But when someone never wants to tell you the bad, the bad is fucked up. Real fucked up. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh I, I definitely agree with you there. Um, I think one of the biggest issues in podcasting isn't that it's saturated, is that it's, it's full of people who are able to pay to be on your podcast, right? Like, so I think that we need to get rid of the podcast payola. And if people don't know what podcast payola is, uh, it's basically the situation where a podcast is taking money for this person to be on their podcast so they don't ask the questions that are necessary. And I think that's the situation with a lot of podcasts. I think there's a lot of people who want to be celebrities who may have taken a picture with celebrities or whatever the case may be, but they're not necessarily qualified to come on your podcast and talk about the thing they're talking about. So like, if you're not a financial advisor, I don't really want to hear your finance your financial advice, but I'm going to listen to you because this podcast that I do rock with has put you on there. So you get scammers and grifters and people like a brother polite that's on the breakfast club or a brother or him 500 that's on earn your leisure or, um, 
even a Umar Johnson that's on Joe Button. Like, I don't need to, like, I, I would rather you give me a person that's organically, I wanted to talk to this person. So now I have actual questions that are lined up to question what whatever it is they do, as opposed to a person that's paid to be on your podcast. And you now are giving them questions that are lined up to not inform anybody about anything, but more ingratiate yourself to and make yourself more acquiescent to the person that is speaking on your podcast at the moment. So like a him 500 should have never got a platform because if, when you break down what he's talking about, you see the scam. When you see a person like Bitcoin Rodney that's on Breakfast Club, Charlemagne or Envy should have asked him something. Same with C's opinion. Like, like these things are not when you're intelligent, I will say this. When you're intelligent, these things are not hard to point out. I think the problem is that you have a bunch of podcasts that are run by these famous people that because of their platform, they promote these ideals or allow people space to spew these ideals that are not necessarily factual or backed in anything. It's just, well, they paid us to be here. We're going to ask them questions that make them look good. And I think that's the biggest problem in podcasts today. Like more than being oversaturated, I think it's a problem of like people being compromised because of money or influence of the people that they're bringing on. Yeah. What are y'all thoughts on, on podcast payola and like these people that are coming on podcasts allowing to spew their rhetoric but without any challenge? 